What's going on everybody and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up the Valheim dedicated server on Steam. This hugely popular survival game has burst into the scene in the last two weeks and lots of people are going to be wondering how to set up a server. So I'm going to take you through the process step by step so you don't have to worry about it at all. If you find these videos to be helpful, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that jazz. It really does help us out. So the first thing you're going to do, presuming you own the Steam, is come right here into your library. You're going to check Tools, and you are going to see a bunch of dedicated servers related to the games which you own. If you come up here to the top, if you have too many, you can type VLAH, and then you'll find Valheim Dedicated Server, assuming that this account owns Valheim. If it doesn't own Valheim, you will not own Dedicated Server. Once you've located this, you can go ahead and install it, but don't open it right away. Once it's installed, we're going to do a couple things to edit it before we launch it. We're going to right click it, go to manage, and hit browse local files. This is going to open up this window right here, and we're primarily concerned with start underscore headless underscore server dot bat. Now bat file is a Windows batch file, which we can edit in text editor. So if you right click it, you can hit edit, it'll open it in text editor text editor or notepad and we're primarily concerned with this last line here there are three things which we're concerned about here name world and password now part of mine will be blurred out because this is a server I have up and running but the password is fairly simple it needs to be five characters in length and it can't be the same name as the name of the server the name of the server is what you want to have it appear as on the community tab in game the world is a little bit more tricky if you are doing this for the first time, you don't need to worry about it. It'll auto-generate a world for you. If you would like to have your single-player world come into your multiplayer world, we need to make a copy of that from our single-player folder location and paste it into the folder where we opened this batch file. In order to do that, we need to find the single-player game, so I'll just go through that really quickly. If I open a new Windows Explorer tab here, we can go to this PC, C. These are the default locations where these are usually stored. We're going to open our typical user folder. Then we're going to do a backslash, so the one above, enter. We're going to type in app data, and then another backslash. Once we do that, it'll allow us to go to a hidden folder where programs normally store data. We're going to open up local low. Then we're going to go to Iron Gate, then into Valheim. We should see, be, see a folder called Worlds. Oops, that is not right. We should see a folder called Worlds. We can open that up, and we're going to copy everything from this folder into the folder where the dedicated server is. So you can just paste things in here. It's worth noting that you need to grab the name of the server. It, all of these files we'll need to have this name here. So dedicated is the name of my single player world. So on my text editor in our start headless server bat, I have my world named dedicated. Yours might have a different name. So go ahead and make sure that this name right here in these quotation marks matches the name of your world in your single player if you would like to use your single player world on your dedicated server. Now that that's done, we need to worry about one more thing on this before we're good to go, and that is port forwarding. I will put a link to a video for port forwarding right here in the video. Make sure to click that and learn how to port forward. I will show a brief example on here, but that is a step-by-step -step guide on how to port forward. We're going to port forward ports 2456, 2457, and 2458. In order to do that, I will open up a tab and navigate to my router. Inside my router, I will go to Advanced, Advanced Setup, and we're primarily concerned with port forwarding. It's worth noting that every router will be different, so yours will be very different from this. It's highly recommended you go back and watch that video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go watch it. It'll tell you how to find your router, how to do the step-by-step -step for your router. There's a great website that does it all for you. I'm going to add a custom service, and I'm going to go from port 2456 through port 2458. So this is 2456, 2457, 2458. It's a start and an end. I'm port forwarding those three ports and I have to put them to match my computer. It's worth noting that if you don't know what your internal IP address is, you can do a CMD, 
that is Windows R and then CMD, and then type in IPCONFIG, IPConfig. And this will give you your IPv4 address. This is your local IP address. That's the one that needs to go on your internal IP address. So for me, that's 0 0.025. There's no danger in you guys knowing that. It's my internal IP address. You can't do anything with it. Once you've set that up, you just need to apply it. I've already done that, so I'm not going to apply. But once that's port forwarded, we just need to save this bat file, close it out, and then we're ready to launch our dedicated server. Now, when you hit launch, it's important to note that it will open up this black command prompt window. And it's equally important to know you cannot close this out or you should not close it out by hitting this X box up here. When you do close it out, you need to do a control C while you're inside this window. But before I do that, I just want to show you guys that it's up and running. The last thing you should see on your server is that it should say zone system start, dungeon database start, game server connected. Once that's up and running, and if it's port forwarded correctly, you can go into Valheim. We'll launch this really quickly. And when we're in game, if I hit start, I can join a game and search for the name of the server which I set up. So if I look for Key Smash, you'll see that I can find it. It's set up, it's password protected. I'm not going to connect to it right now because there's no point. Now that I've shown you that it's working, I'll show you how to close the dedicated server. So this is still really early in, in the dedicated server. So the way that you need to close it is by hitting Control C. And you'll see that it starts sending things, disconnect messages, last socket, callback, all that stuff. And it'll end up saying terminate batch job, yes, no. It's important you put a capital Y there. And you just hit enter and it closes. That is how you close it so it saves your information. If you close it with the X, the X mark, you'll probably have to reboot before you can open it again. If you have any questions on how to set up this server, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always more than happy to help. Feel free to look through the links in our description. You'll find one to our Discord server where you can keep in touch with us and find out what we're doing. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out. And hopefully we'll see you next week.